Okay, what we're gonna do today is um, learn how to install a new plugin on dating script, which is really, really easy. First thing you gotta do is uh, get in your client's area on datingscript.com, and uh, once you're logged in, just click on the my account, uh, uh, my products, and uh, then you're gonna have, you're gonna see your 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 dating script license number you just click on that and you're gonna get to this page right here click on downloads tab and you're gonna have the list of the available plugins for this we're gonna uh, we're gonna do we're gonna install the banners plugin so you're just gonna go right ahead and and uh, click on download save it I'm just gonna save mine to my desktop there you go and now we have to upload it to the server. For that, you're gonna need an FTP client. I just use FileZilla, which is a really simple and uh, really good client, and uh, and it's free. So my account is already configured, so I'm just gonna click on that, and I'm connected. There you go. Public. HTML is my root folder. Usually, that's can that's where your 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 installation, your dating script installation is going to be. Mine is not because I'm a, I'm I'm a, I have a date a, um, a test site installation right now with uh, with dating script. I'm still running on a VLD Personals three two point seven. Um, so I'm just going to find you. Just going to I'm going to find my my dating script installation folder which is right here there you go now I have all of the all of the files from dating script you see application and everything else right here and that's where you want to drop the file you have just you've just downloaded the banners plugins um, folder something important is that I've seen on the, on the I've seen people asking where is the f the plugins folder you're not gonna find that. There isn't a plugins folder. That's not where you where you want to drop your 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 files, your your banners fly files. You just so I'm just gonna find where where I save saved. I saved on this desktop right there. This is what you get. A zip folder called banners. Unpack that and you're gonna get this you don't want to drop you don't want to just drag the banners folder and drop it on your root folder right here on your installation installation folder what you want to do is open it highlight the two folders see you have the application and the sites folder you highlight them and just drag and drop just drag and drop and there we go. See all the files going up. Just wait a couple of seconds. And we're almost there. There we go. All done. So now we can close FileZilla. Now we have to go to the. Okay, where is it? your dating script uh, control panel once you're in there you just go and set and system plugins and there you have it banners it's available it's available right here um, you just click mine installed already so I'm just gonna uninstall it just to see to show you how it works this this is how it's gonna be banners everything else right there just click on install it's kinda slow because I have it on a development mode because I have it on development mode so um, and that's it pretty easy nothing complicated and um, now you can go on content and you have your banners right there I'm gonna create a banner group and uh, and uh, have have a banner show on my test site, which
which is right here I'm gonna put a banner right below the my sidebar for those of you interested on learning how to do this you just create a new group once again it's slow okay I'm gonna call that sidebar sidebar there you go sidebar for keyword that's it now I'm gonna add a banner to my sidebar a new banner I have a code here already in my notepad I'm just gonna copy it I'm gonna give the name my website's name there you go the keyword there you go and this is where you paste your banner code let me see I'm gonna you want to have the count the system count the views and all that as you can set however you want there you go now we have a banner group and we have a banner a new banner added to it now we gotta have this showing right here on my sidebar what you're gonna do is take a banner groups take a banner groups um, okay where is it name uh, actually the keyword right here which you gave to your banner group which is ju we've just created you want to take that and then you find this line of code on your header dot php which is inside swing on templates on the temp templates folder on dating script just open a header and you find this line of code and you gonna do this there you go sidebar okay send header.php to the server and you're gonna have this right here let's see hopefully it will work there you go there's our banner okay pretty simple too and you can have that whatever you want you know I have one right here on my test site I have one right here on the, on the footer right under the footer right here you know or whatever you want and that's it pretty simple